Hello everyone guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. The World Bank's ongoing classification of Iraq as an upper middle income country underscores a broader trend of economic advancement within the region. This classification is pivotal, categorizing nations based on their per capita gross national income, GNI, a metric that speaks to economic prosperity and development trajectories. Intel Group Frank 26 and reports from Firefly further highlight Iraq's strides in bolstering its economic position, particularly evidenced by the convergence of the parallel market rate with the official exchange rate. This alignment suggests a transformative shift, potentially signaling the diminishing influence of the parallel market due to revised exchange rate policies aimed at enhancing stability. Financial advisor Mazza Muhammad Salik affirms the resilience of Iraq's fixed exchange rate system, despite the dinar's significant rise to 1,500 against the dollar. He attributes this stability to record high international reserves, exceeding the country's total currency issuance by more than 100%. This robust reserve coverage not only reinforces confidence in the dinar but also underscores Iraq's capacity to weather economic fluctuations. Moreover, Salak emphasizes the critical role of these reserves in maintaining the dinar's external value ensuring stable prices for goods and services with inflation rates consistently below 3% annually. The dominance of the official central exchange rate, set at 1,320 dinars per dollar, further stabilizes Iraq's economic landscape, reducing volatility and supporting sustainable economic growth. The decline in dollarization within internal transactions, coupled with legal measures prohibiting informal markets, has significantly curtailed the parallel exchange market's influence to just 10% of total currency transactions. This reduction underscores Iraq's successful implementation of integrated monetary and financial policies aimed at achieving overall price stability and mitigating inflationary pressures historically associated with informal markets. Salik also notes a notable shift in secondary markets where the official exchange market's expanding operations favor the fixed exchange rate, thus reinforcing stability across various economic sectors. This transition signifies a tangible achievement in solidifying the dinar's exchange rate resilience, even amidst external economic pressures. In summary, Iraq's sustained advancement within the upper middle income category reflects not only statistical growth but also strategic economic policies aimed at fostering stability and resilience. These efforts position Iraq favorably on the global economic stage, bolstering investor confidence and paving the way for continued economic prosperity.